Welcome to Dawn English. Uh, this is your host Adil Shahzeb, and today I'm joined by uh, uh, ruling PMLN senior leader and uh, federal minister for defense, Khaja Mohammad Asif. Defense minister, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Key you. question: uh, Some arrest has been made. Uh, the chief of staff of former Prime Minister Imran Khan has been arrested. Uh, but the PTI uh, still thinks that it's a political victimization. Uh, What's your take on this? Why should he be arrested? Thank you very much. Adil, uh, in my humble opinion, he was arrested uh, because of an outburst he made on uh, a TV channel. Hmm. Uh, that outburst uh, was directed towards uh, our armed forces. Or it was like uh, inciting uh, rebellion or violence uh, within the institution. This, this is how I interpret whatever was said on that, ten, right. on, on that day. Uh, this is one. Secondly, I, let me assure you, absolutely, uh, you know, uh, it's an assurance, categoric assurance, sure. that uh, nothing will uh, be, uh, you know, uh, done which is not according to the book or according to the law of the land. He'll be prosecuted according to the law. His rights, which are defined in the law, will be protected. And we will not uh, indulge in anything which violates law of the land or which uh, um, smells or smacks of uh, political vengeance or political vendetta. Right. The, the PTI alleges that when you made a, a, a statement on the floor of the House, uh, I believe in 2006, criticizing the then military leadership, uh, and then former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has named uh, the Chief of Army Staff and the then DG ISI for political, allegedly political engineering. None of you were arrested uh, uh, why the PTI guys have been arrested then? In 2006, when, why, when I made this speech, which is being uh, referred these days, or which is uh, on the social media, uh, it was uh, the government was uh, of uh, Pakistan Army, and the Army Chief was the President of Pakistan. General Musharraf. General Musharraf. He was in uniform. But uh, he had become a politician. So basically, the, my speech uh, was uh, against that situation, that particular situation which prevailed in 2006 or from 1999 to 2008. That army was directly ruling the country, and a man in uniform, who was chief of army staff at that time, was the president of the country. He was the chief executive of the country. He was, uh, he had other portfolios also, you know, cabinet portfolios also. He used to uh, address public uh, gatherings also. He, he had his own uh, party like PMLQ uh, in, in, in those days. It was invented, the party was invented actually or launched by, 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 by General Musharraf. So I think uh, as a, as a, as a polit political worker or member of the parliament at that time, whatever I said, was against the existing government at that time, which was uh, uh, headed by General Musharraf, and incidentally, it was uh, he was uh, 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 the chief of army staff. Right. Also, uh, the PTI also alleges that the current government, which is led by the PMLN's Prime Minister Shabash Sharif, let me add. Given... Let me let me add. Yes, please. Uh, let me add just, just just a sentence. This is why I I repeatedly say on uh, television in my speeches in the assembly that uh, all, all, all the institutions, uh, constitutional institutions, uh, must remain within the ambit of their defined role in the constitution. Whenever they transgress that role, they, are, they, they, they become subject or they actually invite uh, criticism. Right. So, so to, to, to protect the sanctity of those institutions, so to protect the sanctity of uh, uh, their role, the constitutional role defined in the constitution and enshrined in the constitution, uh, the, the, all, all the institutions, not only uh, armed forces, but uh, judiciary, executive, parliament, we must 
remain within our defined roles, defined limits, uh, defined by the constitution. By, by defined by the constitution. Uh, the moment we transgress, or the moment we 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 encroach upon the territory uh, of. Uh, uh, on, on a territory which is not given to us by the Constitution, then of course there has to be a backlash. Right.